Hey, <laughs> what's up, guys? This is Batsmith Pro, and uh, today we're gonna be playing Empire Total War. Now, this is a very fun and addicting game. Uh, it's not for free, so uh, but you know, for you tech nerds out there, you know, I'm pretty sure you could find the means in which to get it for a very, 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 very cheap. So cheap, you might have to not pay for anything kind of price, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're playing Empire Total War. This is the first Total War I've pl game I've played, and not gonna lie, it is very, very addicting. I don't think it's the most recent one, but nonetheless, uh, it, uh, it has, like, half the game is basically about uh, the American Revolution. Uh, so that's always uh, a fun thing to do is to uh, re-experience that. But basically, uh, this is an RTS game. Basically, uh, half the game you uh, move around a position, uh, enemy fleets, and uh, both land and on navy, uh, and, and navy. Um, you also have to take over uh, territories and whatnot. Kind of like it. Kind of like Risk, uh, in a sense. But then the other half of it is if uh, you want to actually go out and battle against uh, other armies on the uh, on the map, it'll send you into a real time. Uh, uh, scenario where you actually can uh, face off other enemies and uh, and uh, and manage your uh, your, your entire uh, uh, army battalion in, in a real time uh, strategy uh, warfare. So it's really fun. So let's just go ahead and uh, play a little quick game. Uh, go with land. Uh, let's go to Flanders. There we go. Continue. Uh, hmm. Alright, I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to do that. Let's go to United States. Yeah, America. Alright. Britain, that's always good. Alright. Go ahead and get this done. Graphics are pretty good. Um, I'm playing on Ultra right now. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you, uh, this game runs on both Mac and on Windows. So, uh, yeah, so that's always a good thing. I always did like the multi-platform games. Yeah, that guy gets annoying after a while. Alright, so... Flanders. Alright. So... This, these guys up here, along with these guys. And... I'm just gonna pause the video real quick so that way you guys can... Uh, what, what, or why I set this up, I'm gonna pause it. I seem to have got it, so, uh, yeah, go ahead and get this started. In guard mode, units fight It's nice. Alright. Let's, uh, go ahead and take out these, uh, these horses. Because they get pretty fucking annoying after a while. And they'll fucking charge. That's never cool. Alright, uh, let's, uh, get these guys too. Now sometimes that uh, they uh, you can like put up like defenses and whatnot. Oh, that's what it is here. Yeah, boy. this side too. So that way they don't fucking charge us because that is pretty fucking annoying. Scoot these guys over here son. Anybody surrendering yet? 
go. Because it's pretty fucking annoying, aren't they? They just don't fucking care. What? Idiots. The fucking general's like right there. Just wants to go hiding. The game of the pussies. Bye bye me. Let's take out this fucking general. Basically, uh, if you've ever played a Total War game, basically the idea of it is basically just to fight off the enemies and protect your general at all costs. Because without the general, your enemies or your uh, allies will. Uh... Oh, cool! Look at that. We've already fucking killed the general. It's pretty fucking easy. Uh, basically, your your army can uh, can panic once they feel overrun, and after a while, it does not take a lot to overrun these guys. And. Uh... What's cool about these is that once these enemies start going within range of each other, they will start attacking them automatically. Alright, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take some of these guys out. We don't want them there anymore. You know what? Let's get these guys out. Yeah, look at them all go! Holy shit, that's awesome! So they got these spikes up now, so that way they can't uh, charge us. Alright, let's go ahead and take these guys out. Let's just watch out, we don't fuck around. You always just gotta manage uh, where your guys are at and what they're doing. Alright, none of my guys are retreating, it's good. Come back over here. But yeah, like I said before about the general, you gotta protect your general at all costs because see like they're doing now? But their general, they don't have, they, they, they have what's called a morale, and the lower the morale, the lower the lower chances that they're going to stay and fight until the death. Ah, yes! Assholes, what? They're idiots! They fucking charged and they fucking ran into my spikes. Idiots! So, yeah. That's always nice, so. Yeah, they're pretty much all retreating now. Basically, I got this fucking battle in the bag now. Okay, these guys are fighting. These guys are getting pretty annoying. Let's go over here and chase them down. Who else is want? Who else want to, wants to be uh, big heads and try to face me? These kind of guys are pretty annoying too. So, 
way, yeah. There we go, we'll take out the cannons over there, because they're pretty fucking annoying, too. Oh, look at that, they're already, they're already leaving. Wait, no, those are horses. Holy shit. I thought those were, like, the horses that haul the cannons. <laughs> they're, they're leaving, too. Oh, this is fucking funny as hell. Really? You know what? Uh, you know, I have to commend these guys, because they're just, they really want to fucking die, but they will fucking die in glorious battle. So I, I can mess them, but seriously, bro, I mean, I just say fuck it. It's bullshit. I'm, I'm out of here. Alright, we're gonna charge the tanks. Or cannons, whatever. Oh, shit. When targeting men with artillery, pick out the enemy's best units. They die just as easily as the rabble. That's nice. Alright, no one seems to be coming over here, so... Let's take all the troops and just fucking just go on a full blown out a a battalion. Watch them fucking swarm like little ants. Might not even get there in time. We might be already overrunning them. That's like the, the one, like the only British flag still waving. Nope, they're done too. Yeah, we fucking won. Like no more British flags waving on. All right, so I won. Uh, you know, it's not all there is to the game, you know, there's a, there's like two different campaigns, like, uh, right here, they got, uh, uh, Road, Road Independence, but basically play through the American Revolution from, uh, the, uh, Mayflower to, uh, the French and Indian War, and then the, pretty much the, uh, the Colonial Battle, and then actually becoming the United States. Then you get the Grand Campaign, which basically you just pick a nation and basically you have to conquer it within a certain amount of time. Short, long, prestige, and world domination. You know, world domination is always the best because it's the longest and you can conquer the most. Uh, and then the Warpath, basically you play as one of the native tribes in the uh, colonies and fight against the French and the Americans and also the British. So, yeah. Basically, pretty much whatever you do is basically you have to just kind of like, you know, create an empire. You know, basically what it is. You just conquer, battle, conquer, battle, until you become like, you know, you just dominate the entire world. So yeah, it's a pretty good game. Uh, very immersive, and it'll take you a long time to play any campaign, and uh, some of the battles can last up to about like an hour at a uh, maximum. So yeah, have you this video, and you want to see more, just uh, below, comment, ask me for games. Uh, if, you, if you want to see some gameplay videos, just ask me, and I'll try to find them and download them. Now granted, I have a Mac, so my selection is limited, so that's always a bad thing. But, you know, I will still try to please you guys as best I can. So thanks, connect, subscribe, and don't run with scissors.